Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Daniela and I'm really excited for you to be here. This is going to be a slightly different video than usual because I just want to show you my reading journal. I've started it this year and so far I'm having a lot of fun just keeping it and everything. So I just want to show you where I'm at and maybe get a few suggestions. So if you have any, please leave them below and yeah, I'm really excited to show you. Let's get to it. Welcome to my reading journal. This is what I'm working with. Uh, it's a Molkin um, just notebook. I put a bunch of stickers here. A lot of them fell, as you can see. Um, guess the material wasn't the best. Um, but then let's get into it. So in 2021, I started a reading journal and I did a very comprehensive, by the way, let me just point this out now. Everything you read here is a spoiler. These are reviews. So if you don't want to be spoiled, just look at the pretty pictures and don't read what's here. So spoilers for every single book, spoilers. Um, as I was saying, I started this in 2021. I did a very comprehensive uh, writing on every single book. But it was not fun. I just, I felt like it was a lot of work. And after a while, I just, I was burnt out, I guess. Because some books like this one, The Power of Habit, I didn't really have anything to write. So it felt like having an entire page or even two was way too much. Um, like this, for example, this was a Penguin Little Classic book. It was less than like 54 pages, I guess. So there wasn't a lot to write. But... I kept to it for a bit and then just wait as you can see i just <laughs> i gave up writing in it i still glued some like made it a little scrapbook looking because i still love it like look at this it's fantastic but i just gave up on reviewing the books here i didn't even write the name of the book i just put a picture of it and yeah these two i think this I don't even remember what it was. I think it was The Nose or something. Again, a Penguin small classic. Um, the Song of Achilles. And then this one, I, ha I don't have any idea what this was. But it just became boring and laborious. And I didn't want to do it anymore. So I stopped. And this year, the key is to have fun. So nothing too overcomplicated. Just have fun with it. Don't complicate yourself. So... Um, as you can see, this is the 2024 reading journal. I used the one I used in 2021 because there are plenty of pages left and I didn't want to leave it to go to waste. So yeah, again, 2024, we start with a reading tracker. It's a, I don't know, pixels in a year, like each day of the year. And I try to read for every single day. As you can see, there are some days in January where I didn't read anything, and some days when I read like one to two, uh, one to ten pages. As you can see here, each color represents something. And in January so far, no, in February so far, I've read every single day, which I'm very proud of. And the little dots also signify a finished book. So anytime you see a dot in here. It means that on that day I finished a book. Can you even see the dots? I don't know. And um, yeah, I'm a very visual person. So having having it be like this is so much easier to understand just how much I'm reading or um, how I'm spending my time. So I find that to be very useful. I've also added an hours tracker. Haven't listened to anything this year. I thought I'd get into audiobooks more. Haven't so far. And this copile rating i saw someone use it on the internet but so like each letter represents characters atmosphere writing style plot intrigue logic enjoyment but and then you mark like each book you mark what you'd give it and then um divided by all of these and that's your rating but that just didn't work with me i'm very much a <laughs> story graph rating system kind of person so i go from one to five with the 0 0.25 and 0 0.75 i think that's easy and just 
just i don't know it makes things more fun i don't need this whole thing so i just leave it here but you know i haven't used it uh then this page is dedicated to the best books of 2024 i'll do like a little battle thing but that's at the end of the year obviously can't use it right now so i leave it empty then i have my plans for this year i plan on reading well i want to i really hope that i'll manage to so um read 52 books one for each week of the year complete the book bingo this one here i'll come to it in a second uh do not buy any books in this year i haven't so far it's march and i haven't bought one book i'm so proud of myself that is like unheard of but like so proud of myself for not buying anything and i've been slowly but surely going through my physical books and i'm just so proud of myself then i have read the 12 books months for those who don't know at the beginning of the year i wrap 12 books and each month i unwrap one of them and it's been really fun so far and i'm up on track so that's really good then the big goal for the year is to read 100 books now i have it read 52 books this is the I don't know how to say it. this is the important one this is the one i'm focusing on but i really also want to read a hundred books that's like a a challenge to myself because i know i can read 50 book, uh, 52 books in a year i've done that last year too but i really want to push myself and see if i can manage to reach to it if, if i can that's perfectly fine like no problem at all but i want to push myself and then the last one is to finish all the leftover started books um, so I had books I haven't I have started but I haven't finished and just abandoned them so I want to get back to them and see what I do about them. I have Don Quixote, Melm of the Wanderer, Moby Dick, David Copperfield, La Vie en Fleur, this is in French, Wintering Heights, Hamnet which I already read, Operation Aret which is again French, Republic, All Creatures Great and Small, White on Penguins Feet Freeze, this I read last year when because I made this reading journal kind of thing at the end of December and I've managed to finish this um, but still counting it and a portrait of the artist is a young man so there are 12 books in here so technically if I read one book a month I'll be over in December so I really 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 hope to be able to achieve this but like even if I do half of this I'll be really proud because this bunch is classics that have a ton of pages like Don Quixote, David Copperfield, the writing is minuscule and is a brick of the book. So yeah, then let's go to the reading bingo. I got this from the novelnight.com website and this is the one I found that it was the most fun for me. There are a ton of them on the internet, um, but there are still a few things I don't understand, like book by an INTL to you author. Like, what? <laughs> what but so far i've been doing a great great job and it's barely march so i'm really on track like i think that by may or june i should be done with this maybe i don't know but it's been a lot of fun so far and then i have ta -da, my personal library so i took the excruciating task of going through every single book that i have and writing it down um so i can see how many i have for one but so i can also like tick them as i go through them and it's just so much fun to finish a book and go here and color it in and these ones here there's quite a chunk at the end i'm not reading them in order these are the books that are from the book of the month so like one day two eggs three stories these are the book of the month and then i have some books that i received from my friends at the end of the year so i didn't manage to put them in here yet and i don't know maybe there are some books that i'm missing so whenever i read it and it's not on the list i just put it here because i own the book and i want to see how much i've gone through this and then we have my books read so since the beginning of the year i've been writing every time i finish a book and then at the end of the month i put a bracket on it and like these are the books i read in january these are the books i read in february this one i started in march for example again i'm a very very visual person so i feel like this is very important to me for me to have and it's so much fun like look how much i've read in, in february i don't even remember reading that much but 
if you like point to a book i can tell you exactly what happened in it so this is very fun and then we have the 100 book challenge i chose yellow for uh, the books that i've already read because yellow is my favorite color and it just makes me so happy um but yeah every time i read a book i color it in and so far i've read 19 books which is insane because it's just march but yeah i really really hope that i'll get to color this in by the end of december so let's hope there's also hope. always hope then we have these two empty pages this is the 2024 overview reading stats again these i'll do at the end of the year but i've put it towards the beginning of the book because at the end of the year i just want to see it all together you know and see how i've done now once again spoiler like if you read the reviews that is on you um ta -da! this is a format i chose this year and honestly it's fantastic i'm having so much fun with it um i put the picture of the book i just get it off google and i print it it's like six centimeters width and then the height doesn't really matter because sometimes books are different well, the pictures are different so um the width is the only thing important to me then i have the number of the book i read like which book of the year it is this is the first book the second third and so on the date read the title the series the author the format the pages or hours so far it's only pages and the translator if it's a foreign book and it's been translated to english um then i have the review this little thing and i find it so much nicer to have a smaller um just space to write the review because then i'm not forced to blabber on for two pages when i have nothing to say and if i do have a lot to say i can just write like keep writing or i can always just shorten my review or i don't know it's just so much more fun then i have the rating and the stars i don't know if you can see but they shine and it's so much fun uh there's stickers and then here i have written what this is so this is a 3.75 out of 5. then i have a little tag which says that this is a gift from sophie so every time a friend or an acquaintance gives me a book i like to put a little tag here so i remember who gave me the book and just I don't know it feels really nice and i like remembering the people like what i got from where you know um also another different thing is this thing here this is again a picture i found on the internet and then i copied it and printed it and this is like a notebook or a book and this de denotes the book of the month so every time there's book of a the month they'll have this sticker so I can just visualize it better. And it's really fun so far. Like, look at this. Um, then we have the end of the month. This is January. I have to put something here, like a January overview. And look, look how fun. Ta-da! This little flap opens. Can you see the whole thing? Um, so yeah, this is the overview of January. I have how many books I've read. I've read seven uh, books that month. The best book, which was five stars. The worst book, 175. The amount of pages I read. Then I have the genres, which I calculated and then put in a graph. Again, I'm a very visual person. Um, then I have the fiction versus nonfiction books, the page number. So if it's less than 300, the majority which of was, or between 300 and 499. I also plan to do like, more than 500 or 600 but so far i haven't read any books like that and then the star rating for each book as you can see for 3.75 i read two books and then the average star rating which is 3.64 and i consider it if it, the rating is above 3 or 350 it's fantastic like i've had a really good month so yeah these are the stats for january again i have to add something in here um and then we go to february and i have to put like a mark or something for each month i i don't i forgot to do it and now i don't know where to put it but i'll think of something um again as you can see this is a gift from one of my friends so i put a little tag um and then the format is just the same um another gift um you have the little stars that shine 
and then the book of the month with his little stickers and then you have once again this is the February overview again I have to put something here and ta -da, the little flap the books read 11 which is insane I've never read that many books in one month the best book the worst book the pages read insane the genres I read a lot of historical in February which is a surprise but this is why it's so nice to have this because otherwise you wouldn't necessarily know about it so yeah then we have fiction versus non-fiction in February I read a lot more non-fiction than I did in January the page number I read a lot of longer books the star rating is very diverse from last month which I love well I love seeing I'd prefer if all the books I read was five stars but that just can't always happen and then the average star rating which is 3.20 which is lower than last month but again I read 11 books in February and I read seven in January so of course it's going to be different and a little bit lower and then on the next page I have this is starting March and I started with a book of the month because um, in February I read it towards the end and I was slightly panicking that I would not manage to finish it by the end of the month so yeah this is March and this is where I'm at so far as I'm filming this I plan on doing a um what do you call it I plan on doing more of these videos throughout the year to keep you like an update video maybe in June or July so you can see like half of this and one in at the end of December um just to see my progress how much of it I get done um you know just just for the fun of it it's it's so much fun and honestly with this format that I have going right now I'm having so much fun like I've never had this much fun before like all the pages and the ratings and everything is just it's a delight to keep this so yeah this was my reading journal I hope you like it and I hope you got inspiration from it it's so much fun I fully recommend you keep one even if you read five books a year it's still really nice to remember how you felt in that moment and just I don't know keep a record of them so that was it that was my reading journal I'm really proud of it it was so much fun and I don't know I'm I'm genuinely happy with it so again if you have any ideas of what I can add to it or um, any book recommendations please leave them below uh, also leave a like and consider subscribing if you like what you see and yeah thank you for watching bye I just give the earth my soul Hear my thoughts bounce off the walls